Article 1 of the Special Town Meeting Warrant is before us. Mr. Sweat. Mr. Moderator, I move the town vote to waive the reading of the motion and to move favorable action as written in the warrant. I will waive unless there is an objection. Hearing none. Assistant moderator, is there any objection? objection. No objection. Now, as I asked you before, um, not everybody has a warrant this evening, so um, we do want to take the time so that everybody understands where we are at any time during this meeting. Um, it is printed. If you have an opportunity to look at it or ask your neighbor uh, to look at it with them, if there's any questions, the motion is to vote favorably as printed. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Mr. Moderator. Oh. Sorry, Mr. That's Hannes. okay. Thank Abbott. you. I move to amend the motion for Article 1 as follows. To change the description of Parcel 1 from Lot B to Lot E, and to add the following to the end of the motion. And further, I move to appropriate the sum of $550,000 for said acquisition that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the Board of Selectmen, is hereby authorized to borrow $550,000 pursuant to General Laws Chapter 44, Section 7 or 8, or any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds and notes, therefore. And the Board of Selectmen is hereby authorized to take any other action necessary to carry out this vote. So please summarize that amendment. Please summarize it. <laughs> I, I'm asking the body for authorization to allow the Board of Selectmen to borrow $550,000 for the acquisition of these parcels. Further, I'm asking an amendment um, to the description of parcel one, um, there was a typographical error, unfortunately, and lot B should read lot E. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there are two things uh, being asked to amend this motion. To change the, des the description of parcel one from lot B to lot E, which I assume is a clerical error. Yes. That's a correcting a clerical error. And to add authorization to borrow $550,000 and uh, all the appropriate language to authorize issuance of notes in pursuant of Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 44, Sections 7 and 8. Is there anything to be said on the amendment? Yes, yes. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Nandy's Abbott. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Article 1 is requesting town meeting authorization for the Board of Selectmen to pursue the acquisition of three parcels of land in Swift Speech. If, if successful, these parcels would link two public beaches and a town-owned playground resulting in 2,400 linear feet of coastline that can be enjoyed by all the residents of the town of Wareham. Wareham has 54 miles of coastline, of which approximately 4.7 miles are publicly accessible. Both the 1997 open space plan and the master plan of 1998 identified maintaining and increasing access to the coastline as priority issues. The Board of Selectmen, in our mission statement adopted in 2002, recognized the importance of preserving and protecting natural resources in order to enhance the general quality of life for everyone and creating and maintaining open space for purposes of protection and passive recreation. The town has commissioned two formal appraisals on the properties. The larger parcel, consisting of 5.35 acres, has a current estimated market value between $400,000 and $500,000. The smaller parcel, containing 8,650 square feet, holds an estimated value between $30,000 and $50,000. We're asking town meeting this evening to authorize a borrowing for $50,000 $550,000 so that we can move forward in good faith with the property owners. 
We will aggressively pursue all public and private funding available to minimize the cost of this benefit. Acquisitions of this type are perfectly suited for community preservation funds, and we will investigate the possibility of partnering with public and private organizations. We're confident that the benefits of acquiring these properties, increased public coastal access, passive recreation, and protection of natural resources are vital to Wareham's future. And I urge you to vote favorable action on the amendment. Thank you. I'm told that there is someone in the cafeteria who wishes to speak on the article. We're checking to see if there's anyone in the cafeteria who wishes to speak. We need a little music. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, <laughs> Um, there's a request by one of the um, voters here in the cafeteria that there just be a brief explanation from um, proponent or someone on the finance committee as to what the article's about, particularly since not everyone has the, um, the warrant. That sounds reasonable. How about a brief explanation to those folks in the cafeteria? Would you, would you like to have Renee do it again? Could they hear me okay in there, John? Reference. Oh, okay. We have, we have a request for a point of order for future reference. Um, Mrs. Fernandez, why don't you just Again, do that one more time. Maybe there was something that they didn't understand. And be as brief as possible. Thank you. The moderator is the boss. Yay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have an amendment of the main motion. We need to vote on the amendment first which is to change lot B to lot E and to authorize borrowing of $550,000. And if that passes, we will make that the main motion and vote on that as the main motion. All those in favor of Mr. Dekas. Yeah, I'd just like to ask a question. Um, has there been any discussion with the owner of the property? Is 550000 something that they're likely to agree with? Uh, an eminent domain proceeding could turn into a lawsuit. If the lawsuit results in a higher figure than 550, uh, how does that work? 